Hello, everybody. This is Gleaming Cold. Back with another World of Warships Blitz ship review. It's seriously been a month since I made a ship review. And, well, it's American Ship Week. That's totally not something I just made up. No, but seriously, happy 4th of July, everyone. I hope everyone, at least in America, is having a good 4th of July. And if you don't live in America... Good. <laughs> I'm joking. All joke. Okay. So, all jokes aside. In today's video, we are reviewing the Tier Five American battleship in the Blitz Pass, the Oklahoma, a Nevada class battleship. Yeah, finally, finally. I mean, it's not the Nevada, but the Oklahoma is still a Nevada class ship, so. Did I really just say Nevada? Wow. Anyways, before I get into the ship stats and everything, a bit of history on the USS Oklahoma. USS Oklahoma was a Nevada-class battleship built in the New York Shipbuilding Corporation for the United States Navy, notable for being the first American class of oil-burning dreadnoughts. Commissioned in 1916, the ship served in World War I as part of the ba Battleship Division 6, protecting Allied convoys on their way across the Atlantic. After the war, she served in both the United States Battle Fleet and the Scouting Fleet. Oklahoma was modernized between 1927 and 1929. In 1936, she rescued American citizens and refugees from the Spanish Civil War. On returning to the West Coast in August of the same year, Oklahoma spent the rest of her service in the Pacific. On December 7th, 1941, you should probably get exactly what's going to happen now. The Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. Several torpedoes from torpedo bombers hit the Oklahoma's hull and the ship capsized. A total of 429 crew died. Survi survivors jumped off the ship 50 feet, 15 meters, into the burning hot water. Or crawled, crawled across the mooring lines that connected the Oklahoma and Maryland. Some sailors inside escaped when rescu rescuer rescuers drilled holes and opened matches, matches? hatches to rescue them. The ship was salvaged in 1943. Unlike most of the other battleships that were recovered following Pearl Harbor, Oklahoma, Oklahoma was too badly damaged to return to her duty. Her, re her wreck was eventually stripped of her remaining armament and superstructure before being sold for scrap. The hull sank in a storm while being towed from Oahu, Hawaii to the Breakers Yard in San Francisco in 1947. Yeah, that that's 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 actually quite sad. So unlike Nevada, this ship did not survive Pearl Harbor. Tragic loss to everyone and mourning the loss of everyone on that day. But, Oklahoma in-game. So, this ship is obtained in the July Blitz Pass for Independence Day. So, let's see how it is. So, when I, um, so survivability is average for this type of ship. 35,417 hit points, and you've got a Citadel protection of 12.50%, fire and flame resistance 13.75%, Damage reduction, 13.50%. Torpedo damage reduction, 18.90%. So, average, but the torpedo damage reduction, for some reason, feels more of an average. Though I know it's average. Maneuverability. <laughs> With my my build, uh, it goes 20.13 knots. It's a, normally 2019. That is, that is really slow. I know tw the most battleships went 21 knots around tier 5 and tier 6, and even tier 7. But 20? 20? <laughs> this ship is not going anywhere fast. Time to full speed is 22.66 seconds, 4.90 degrees per second max reverse speed, and 11.40 second turn time. Pretty good. Main guns are 356 millimeter slash 45 MK9s, 2x3s, and 2x2s. Well. The reload of these guns. Before I added any mod modifications. 
was 27 seconds. <laughs> Why? This is tier 5. I get the, um... I understand with the, uh... What is it? Uh, Rio de Janeiro. That had a lot of guns and were pretty punchy. Mm, these guns, not so much. I have to admit. These guns are not as powerful as the Rio de Janeiro. Not saying they're not powerful, but they're not as powerful as Rio de Janeiro. So. But the range is actually quite good. 11.32 kilometers. So, good. 9.40... 9, not 9.40, 941 HE damage, 10% chance of setting a fire, exactly 1,400 AP damage with 250% damage rate, and a horrible traver tra traverse speed. That is just absolutely atrocious. Secondary guns are actually not that bad. Uh, they're four they have a 4.50 second reload time, 6.60 kilometer range, so quite long for American secondaries. Uh, 280 damage and chance of setting fire of 2%. So, nothing. And we are not talking about AA. 121, 19, that's going to do nothing. And a 9.89 kilometer surface detection. That's actually pretty good. So, build of this ship. Well, in elite bonus, you can either go for torpedo damage reduction. Nope. You, what, if you're a if you're an idiot, you'd pick this. If you're a smart person, you want to go with battleship modernization. I'm probably gonna actually say I'm sorry. Actually, I shouldn't say that. No, you can do this if you get hit by torpedoes a lot. But honestly, battleship modernization gives more hit points and is just in my opinion the better elite bonus. Though I mean, if you really don't like getting hit by torpedoes, that's fine. But um, just don't ever go for that. Um, so, equipment of supplies is my basic standard battleship build, high-grade coal, improved crew rations, preventative green pack. If you've been here long enough, you should know that that's what I do, and shut up. Um, I build. I went with main battery modification, too, because, um, I'm not sitting for 27 seconds waiting for my guns to reload. No. But, honestly, I wouldn't be mad if you went for main battery mod 1 for the... Traverse speed, since it's kind of bad. But if you wanted to go for a secondary build, you could, actually. The armor is actually pretty good. Um, second slot, I went with damage control system mod 1. Yes, I know. The meta is propulsion modification 1 and steering gear mod 2. No, I hate that. It's fine for battleship, for battle cruisers. It's fine for cruisers. It, I don't like it for these slow American battleships. I, I don't really care. Or just, Amer just battleships, mostly in general. I don't like putting Propulsion Modification 1 on there. For battle cruisers, I do it. You know, battleships, I don't. And that was just a long rant, a short-ish rant, of why I don't go for the meta build. Plus, I kind of prefer this. I know people have debunked it, and now it's not actually that effective. For me, it is, honestly. And slot 3 was because I could not stand... This is not even just because my normal build has speed. This, this is what I do with all battleships and battle cruisers mostly. Like, I didn't want to sit through. Um, sorry, 19 knots is bad. That's why I don't like the Wyoming. Because 18 knots, you're doing nothing for most of the battle. So, yeah. Uh, commander build. Uh, this is the commander I just got. Um... Underwater protection expert, torpedo alert, artillery maintenance mex expert, pretty standard. You're going to want victorious charge, survivalist, generalist, fully prepared, adrenaline rush, Demoli demolition expert, though if you're going for a secondary build, go for close quarters combat expert, uh, compartment maintenance, one person cap shell, citadel strike. Yeah. Um... Ship skills, we're going to get into in a minute, but camouflage. I want to bring something up. So, this is what the normal Oklahoma looks like. This is no camouflage, no anything. This is the historical camouflage. What the heck is the difference? There is no difference. There is no difference with this camouflage. This is seriously just Oklahoma... Slightly whiter. No. I mean, I'm gonna have it. 
because it is a good historical camouflage, but there is absolute... Oh, wait, no, sorry, sorry. It it gets rid of all the, ugh, the, the damage it had. Sorry. And the red on the top. I'm sorry. That If you look, there is absolutely no difference. No difference. Um, battle honors. Play five battles. Destroy two enemy ships in a battle. That's fine. I don't care. The ship skills, however, are very interesting. So, you get secondary overload, which is already un very, very unusual for American battleships. But then you also get the scout plane. I think this is actually the first time Scout Plane's been on an American battleship. I think. I could be wrong about that. Now, it says it increases the main gun firing range by 12% for 30 seconds. It does that. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a bug with the Scout Plane, but it sometimes doesn't increase my firing range. So that's weird, honestly. But other than that, interesting ship skills, but that means you can't really have a commander trainer at all. And you probably can't share this with any other American battleship uh, since they don't have, it doesn't even have precise aiming, so, way. Um, but yeah, um, I've got two battles for you, and then I'll go over my overall thoughts on the ship. So let's get into that. In the first battle, it's base capture on Silent Shoals. We got a New Mexico, Ismael, Bayern, Agano, Matsuki, N Nicholas, and Matsuki. <sighs> Wait, there's no premium ships on the enemy team. Wait, are you? Wait. General Quarters. What? <laughs> wow. Um, okay. No premium ships on the enemy team. All right, fair enough. Also, I had to turn up my volume. But all right, all right. So, hmm. all right. So, uh, there's nothing really to talk about while going at twenty point one knots. I might as just. I might as well just say that. The speed's just bad. I, you know. Oh, a Gano. There's an Agano. That is a good thing. And... 25 seconds. That's, that's just... That's just too long, honestly. That is just way too long for this type of battleship. Oh, wait. It probably might be because of the... Oh. Is it because of the, um... Scout plane? I don't know Good if it job. is, but if it is, I mean, that's kind of stupid. We hit the enemy! Alright, I'm, I'm slowing down because Nicholas shot. probably fired torpedoes at me. Target hit! Agano's been sunk. Good, good. Good like that, but whatever. Ooh, and Ismail's coming up. Somehow Nicholas got flooded. I don't know how, but there's torpedoes over there. Missed. Uh, that's probably some horrible aim, isn't it? Yeah. Torpedoes. Uh, show velocity. Oh no! Oh crap! The situation is under control. The show velocity of this ship is actually really good. The shells are usually gonna hit their target relatively quickly. Um, I know I shouldn't use the scout plane, but I want I want a higher elevation. Um, uh, just wanting to see. Nice there, shot. Okay, not bad. Probably could have gotten a better hit. And also, there's an island, and I need to look over it. Because I don't know if I'll be able to go over the island. Probably not the best idea, idea to brawl a tier 6, but actually, well... Target hit! Wow, that was a horrible we shot. We hit the enemy! Good job! Alright, I don't want to activate... Oh. Target hit! I'm activating my... Second 
every reload booster. I mean, it's not this ship's not really a brawler, but it can. It's not like the North Carolina where it can it can brawl, but it, you can actually brawl. This is a ship that yeah, if you want to brawl, you can, but you have to really be. You Good gotta, shot. And well, I also had help with Farragut and the New York. Wait, there's only two. Wait, there's only two more battleships left. Okay. And they're all way up there. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting any more action. Um, I'm going to cut it from here because there's no way I'm getting any more action of in this battle. I will probably just, yeah, I'll cut and then I'll be back at the battle results. <laughs> well, that was an overwhelming victory. Literally, no one on our team was sunk. Wow, that was that was an interesting battle. Though, not really, actually. I didn't actually do the best, but the enemy team, wow. That was an absolute steamroll. Um, complimenting the people that did well. You did well. Good job. Uh, good job. And a uh, good job. Oh no, it wasn't an overwhelming victory. No! <laughs> Whatever. Um, battle performance. 27,000... 27,000? 27, no. 27, 27 main battery hits, 91 secondary hits, 3 assists, and 2 taking fire. 33,559 damage caused, 0 ships sunk, 120 team play score, and 531 score. I'm just honestly no longer going to be talking about the stupid bat, the rewards I got. I'm just going to be talking about how I did. So, second battle. In the second battle, it is base capture on Scorching Islands. There's a Bogue, a Bairn, an Arizona, Peter Vakili, Bretong, Emerald, Icarus. Ooh, Icarus. I'm going to have to worry a little bit about that. That is, that's a ship that I, well... Back when I was first starting to play and I got to tier 5, Icarus was the bane of my existence. Remember, okay, I started playing about, like, what, three years ago, I think? Like, 2020? Not 2019, I know it was in 2019. Uh, like, I think, like, 2020 or something like that. The Icarus was always the bane of my existence. I hated it. It was always just dumping all his torpedoes on me and just fucking me up. It was not fun. I'm going to be honest. really wasn't. But I've learned how to deal with Akaris's. Stay away from them. <laughs> um, all right, Emerald. And there's a battleship. That would be the Bairn, I think. And there's a Bretong. <laughs> yep, that's definitely the Bretong. We do know that. Um, I need to get the shot out first. Uh, there, I think. I think. I'm making a very educated guess. Oh, hey, I got one shot at least. Hey, that's not too bad. Um, Emerald's in there. I'm gonna say warning over there. Um, I like, this is actually my first ship that utilizes the spotter plane, surprisingly. I don't really have any of the higher tier... Italian battleships, I only have up to tier 7. Go watch that review, by the way. It's one of my earlier videos. Ch actually, I should say earlier video of my reconstruction videos. But, um... Here we go. Bertong's gonna be an easy ship. I do... I, it's a bad ship. Bertong just is utterly terrible. It, it's not good at anything. Like, it's just not fun. It's bad. Um, Normandy is honestly is much better. And honestly, I kind of think Normandy is actually really good. It's not great, but it's actually pretty good. Alright, there's a Bayern. I know I keep talking about some random shit. But I don't care. It's my video. I can do whatever I want. But we're going to try to brawl this Bayern. If he knows how to aim with his secondaries, that's not a great thing. 
But if he doesn't know how to aim with his secondaries, then I'm in for a treat. Damage. Yeah, those were his secondaries. Yeah, he doesn't know where to aim with his secondaries. Because his armor belt's much thicker than our, mine, I'm aiming a little higher. If I can get behind him, I think that could actually work really well. Um, so that should work. Ugh, the reload's just way too long. Oh, I hate the reload. Okay, I think the torpedoes might actually... Oh, no, the torpedoes completely missed the bear. Okay, that was not a horrible shot, but not a great shot either. Okay, the Hatsuharu got the kill on the Bairn. That Arizona is something I don't want to actually... Bow in, bow in, bow in. There is... Actually, you know, I need to make a tactical retreat real quick. We're almost... Uh, we're about, like, 90 points ahead. Uh-oh. Ooh! Okay, I made a horrible mistake. I made a horrible, tragic mistake. Yep, I think I just screwed up our team. Well, actually, maybe not, because half his firepower's the other way, and I might have a chance. I definitely... Nope. <sighs> yeah, I kind of screwed up my team. Oh, and the Icarus is over... Oh, f I think we lost this match, mainly because of me. Um, the Hatsuharu could do something. The Bogues definitely get sunk by the Icarus. They're just yeah, there's just... Yep. Yeah, there's just no way the Bogues gonna survive. Yeah, I think we lost, honestly. Some wild shit could happen, but no, I think we're gonna lose this. I mean, it's possible we could win if Hatsuhari takes out the Bogue, but the Bogue seems like a pretty good player. The Arizona's over there, and yeah, I... Yeah. Oh, I should have not done that. I already, I think, went, okay. I should have just retreated. Mm, that was a bad idea. But I know I lost, but I think I'm going to just cut till the end because we already know what's going to happen. It's just going to be a minute of basically watching as the New Mexico and the Hatsuharu and now just the New Mexico get sunk. So, yeah. Yeah, as I figured, we lost. But we did take out the Bogue, so you know what? Not horrible. Um... Yeah, not horrible at all. So, um, let's see how we did. Um, yes, definitely good job to the Akaris. Yes, good job. Good job. I did come third in team, so that's good. Not report. There we go. So, battle details. 38 main battery shell hits, 151 secondary hits, one fire set, two modules damaged, one aircraft destroyed, one enemy spotted, two assists, four taking fire. 52,094 uh, damage, zero ships destroyed, 134 team play score, and 150, 450 score. So, the Oklahoma. On paper, it's a down-tiered Arizona. But in practice, it's not an actually down-tiered Arizona. It's very fun. It's not a brawler. The secondary reload is overloads there, but it's not a brawler. And honestly, the scout plane, you don't need to use it every battle, but it is actually very useful. So, is this a good ship? Yeah, actually, yes, this is, I totally recommend this ship. It's tier 5, it's pretty fun, actually. It's not a beast like the Rio de Janeiro, but you know what? I find it fun. It is very fun. It's not fast, and you do have to know that it's... The reload time and the speed are pretty bad. But other than that, it's a very good ship, and I'd totally recommend this. Well, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe, comment down below your feedback. Always reading you guys' comments, and join up on my Discord server. We're always having a lot of fun there. So, yeah, bye.